Welcome everyone. Today we are discussing the chemical and physical properties of biological compounds, specifically amino acids and methane, and how these properties are influenced by their substituent groups. Let's dive in and explore the fascinating world of biology and chemistry. Biomolecules, also known as biological compounds, are molecules existing in living organisms. Amino acids are the most common type of biomolecules and are critical to the formation of proteins. These proteins carry out various functions of the body like digestion, respiration and immunity. Understanding biomolecules better allows us to decipher the mechanisms of living beings and how they act with their surroundings. Amino acids are molecules essential for life, composed of a carbon atom, an amino group, a carboxyl group, and a hydrogen atom. They are fundamental for the creation of proteins, and present in all living organisms. Furthermore, amino acids are the basic elements of many metabolic processes, including energy production and digestion. Amino acids are essential for the functioning of living organisms, as they are the building blocks of all proteins. Composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen atoms, as well as an R group which can be different from one amino acid to the next, they form so-called substituted methanes, with each one of the four valence positions, hydrogen, carboxyl group, amino group and the R group, being of great importance to form the structure of proteins. Biomolecules are the foundation of life, with amino acids forming the basis of protein structures that are essential to the functioning of our bodies. Different types of amino acids can be identified based on the type of R group they contain. For example, glycine contains a hydrogen, alanine a methyl group, and serine and hydroxymethyl. In total, there are 21 unique varieties of amino acids, which, along with other biomolecules, are responsible for our existence. Biomolecules play a significant role in life, forming the basis of proteins, enzymes, and other molecules in our bodies. Amino acids, one of the most common types of biomolecule, are composed of an amino group, a carboxyl group, and an R-functional group. The combination of these three elements produces a distinctive chemical and physical structure, giving each amino acid its own individual characteristics. Comprehending the structure of biomolecules is essential for comprehending how life works. Amino acids can be classified into acidic, neutral, and basic depending on the number of amino and carboxyl groups attached. Acids include aspartic acid, asp, and glutamic acid, glu. Neutral amino acids include alanine, ala, and glycine, gly. Basic amino acids include arginine, arg, and histidine, his. Three essential aromatic amino acids for all forms of life are tyrosine, phenylalanine and tryptophan. These molecules have special properties attributed to their aromatic rings, which can affect protein structure, enzyme activity and hormone levels in our bodies. Thus, they are vital to a variety of biological functions. Amino acids are fundamental components of proteins, the major building blocks of life. Amino acids are remarkable for their capability to alter according to different pH levels. The ammonium group is protonated in acidic surroundings and the carboxylic acid is deprotonated in basic surroundings. This adaptation lets amino acids assume an essential part in numerous biological procedures. Exploring the structure, properties and different types of biomolecules, this slide shows an example of a zwitterion, a molecule with both a positive and a negative charge. Comprised of an amino group, positively charged, a carboxyl group, 
negatively charged, an oxygen atom and a hydrogen atom. The electrical neutrality of a zwitterion is what allows it to play an important role in many biological processes. Amino acids can exhibit different behavior depending on the pH of the surrounding environment. When an acid is applied to an amino acid, the molecular structure alters at acidic pH levels. Similarly, if a base is added to an amino acid, its structure also changes in higher pH or basic conditions. As a result, the structure of amino acids may vary when placed in solutions with different pH levels. Biomolecules are the fundamental components of all living organisms. Among the most crucial are amino acids, which form proteins, the molecules that enable cells to carry out a range of functions. Amino acids consist of organic compounds containing a hydroxyl group, an amino group, an acid group, and a phosphate or sulfate group. When these groups are properly put together, they form intricate molecules which are indispensable for biology. Biomolecules are the basic components of life and amino acids are one type of these. There are numerous kinds of amino acids, but researchers have identified 19 types that are present in proteins in our bodies. These 19 amino acids are categorized into various groups which depend on their biological and chemical properties. 19 amino acids may appear to be a small number, but these are responsible for the production of thousands of different proteins, each with their own essential role in the body and cells. Aromatic amino acids are a class of proteins with a distinct odor and are found in many types of foods and living organisms. Comprised of glycine, alanine, valine, and phenylalanine, these amino acids have unique roles in the body and can be essential in helping the body to create essential proteins. Biomolecules are a significant group of organic compounds that exist in living organisms and support vital biological activities. Lipids and heterocyclic compounds are two examples of such molecules that are essential to life. Lipids can vary in structure but primarily act as structural components, energy sources, and are found in cell membranes. Heterocyclic compounds, which have a ring structure composed of two or more different elements, are found in polymers, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. Both of these biomolecules are integral for sustaining the structure and functions of life. Lipids are organic compounds which have a variety of uses. Typically made up of fatty acids and their derivatives, lipids are not soluble in water but are soluble in organic solvents. They provide energy, are part of cell membranes, and can be used in the production of soaps, detergents, and lubricants. Fatty acids are an essential biopolymer present in all living organisms. Each is composed of a carboxyl group attached to an R group which is either saturated or unsaturated. Unsaturated fatty acids contain one or more double bonds between the carbon atoms of the fatty acid chain, whereas saturated fatty acids don't have double bonds between their carbon atoms. Understanding fatty acids and their role in living organisms is significant. Biomolecules are the building blocks of all living organisms. They are composed of several elements, among them the R group, which is an important component. The R group could be a methyl, CH3, or ethyl, C2H5, or higher number of CH2 groups, 1 carbon to 19 carbons. For example, palmitic acid has 16 carbons including carboxyl carbon. This example highlights the importance of R-groups in the biomolecule structure.
biomolecules are the essential element of all forms of life. They are made up of many components, one of the most important being the R group. This could be a methyl, ethyl, or a higher number of CH2 groups of 1 to 19 carbons. For instance, palmitic acid, which contains 16 carbons, including the carboxyl carbon, is a typical example of the importance of R groups in the biomolecules structure. The slide presents information on two biomolecules. Arachidonic acid and glycerol. Arachidonic acid is a polyunsaturated fatty acid composed of 20 carbon atoms with four double bonds that involve the carboxyl carbon. Glycerol, such a simple lipid, is made of trihydroxypropane. The slide showcases the molecular structures of both these biomolecules. Lipids are an important type of biomolecule that form the foundation of life. They are classified into four main types. Simple lipids, compound lipids, derived lipids and esters of fatty acids. Each type of lipid contains hydrocarbon rings and a long hydrocarbon side chain. Their primary role is to help create and sustain a stable internal environment for cells. Lipids, esters formed from fatty acids and long-chain alcohols, are a type of biomolecule. Examples of these molecules include waxes, fats, and oils, all of which are essential for energy storage and cell membrane structure in living organisms. Biomolecules play an essential role in life, among which wax stands out as an especially important type. Wax is a simple lipid, formed by the merging of a long-chain alcohol and a fatty acid to form an ester. The most commonly found of the lipids is the triglyceride, which can be either liquid or solid at room temperature. Oils are the former, while solid lipids are known as fats. Both oils and fats, along with waxes, are all grouped together under the umbrella term of biomolecules. Monoglyceride is a molecule formed by the combination of one glycerol molecule and one fatty acid molecule. It has many different applications in food, cosmetics and pharmaceuticals industries, making it a crucial component in common products. Furthermore, it is an essential part of the nutrition of all living organisms due to its versatility. Diglycerides are an important component of all living cells, from bacteria to humans. They have an integral role in cellular structure and energy storage, serving to transport fatty acids from the locations where they are produced to those where they are utilized. Also, they are used to control various signal transmission pathways. Diglycerides are lipid molecules consisting of two fatty acids connected to one glycerol molecule. These molecules are key for energy storage, the formation of cell membranes, as well as a variety of other biological processes. Triglycerides are a type of ester consisting of three fatty acids attached to a glycerol molecule. The R1, R2 and R3 positions of the molecule are occupied by fatty acids. This molecule is significant in the body as it is involved in the generation and preservation of energy for future use. Phospholipids, a type of biomolecule, consist of a glycerol, two fatty acids, a phosphate group, and a polar molecule. They are found in cell membranes and neural tissues, which could possibly possess more complex lipid structures. Phospholipids are vitally important for many cellular activities, such as growth, division, and signaling. Heterocyclic rings are composed of atoms that are not the same, such as nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. These rings are the backbone to the compounds found in all living organisms and form the basis for many of the biological compounds found in nature. They are essential to living organisms and are used in a variety of applications including medicine, food, and industry.
Nucleotides are fundamental components of all living cells and participate extensively in various biological processes. Constitutes of a sugar molecule, a phosphate unit plus a nitrogenous base. They are formed from nucleosides composed of a sugar plus a nitrogenous base plus the addition of a phosphate group which completes the molecule. Nucleotides are in charge of genetic coding, the construction of proteins and the cell's energy metabolism. For greater understanding, here are the images of nucleotides and nucleosides. Adenylic acid and guanosine monophosphate are two important molecules in DNA and RNA synthesis. 5-feet adenylic acid is a nucleotide monomer used in the formation of both DNA and RNA, while 5-feet guanylic acid, also a nucleotide, acts in the same manner. Both are integral components in the formation of vital nucleic acids. Nucleic acids like DNA and RNA are composed of nucleotides, each having its own role. These nucleotides are adenylic acid, thymidylic acid, guanylic acid, uridylic acid, and cytidylic acid. Knowing how they interact and work is vital for grasping the mechanisms of life. Lipids are a major component of biomolecules, which are the foundation of life. They are essential for the cellular membrane structure, made of fatty acids and glycerol. Lipids can exist in the form of solids, liquids, or gases, making them soluble in organic solvents as well as in water. Therefore, option 2, which is organic solvents, is the answer to the question posed. Triglycerides which are liquid at room temperature are usually referred to as oils. Unlike fats, they remain in liquid form rather than being solid, and unlike waxes they do not contain long-chain esters or alcohols. Steroids on the other hand are organic compounds with a particular molecular structure relating to vitamins and hormones, and these do not remain liquid at room temperature. Glycerol is an important component of living cells, found in many substances like fats, oils, and waxes. It is a three-carbon alcohol molecule with three functional groups, each with a hydroxyl group on its respective carbon. Glycerol can be classified as 1, 1, 1 trihydroxypropane, 1, 2, 2 trihydroxypropane, 1, 2, 3 trihydroxypropane, or 1, 1, 2 trihydroxypropane. Each of these structures is of significant importance to the chemistries of living systems. Our group in arachidonic acid comprises of 20 carbon atoms, making it a great source of energy for the human body. It also consists of four essential atoms, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon and nitrogen, that are vital for the functioning and structure of biological molecules. Nucleoside is constituted of a sugar, a phosphate and a nitrogen base, thus making it a basic constituent of life. The sugar phosphate backbone imparts it the characteristic of a nucleotide, while the nitrogen base differentiates it from other types of nucleic acids, such as DNA or RNA. This specific combination of sugar, phosphate and nitrogen base makes it possible to encode genetic information. DNA and RNA have the ability to act as genetic material, providing our cells with the genetic information they need to structure and maintain our bodies. This is an incredibly important field of research in modern science. The answer to the slides question is number 3, both DNA and RNA can act as genetic material. Thank you all for your attention.